Fox 46's Matt Grant joins us live in the newsroom tonight. And Matt, you've learned far-right groups are becoming more localized here in North Carolina. Well, Lindsay, it's a problem not just in the Carolinas, but all across the country. According to the Southern Poverty Law Center, white nationalist hate groups have grown 55% since just 2017. I got it right, just like everybody else this world got it right. A Nazi flag in Wake County. Is a sad state of affairs. A Proud Boys gathering in Charlotte. I mean, I wasn't comfortable because it's, I mean, you just saw what happened up at the Capitol. I mean, it's scary. A North Carolinian linked to a plot to kidnap Michigan's governor. <laughs> and a deadly insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. Extremist beliefs are on the rise and on display. People are willing to justify acts of violence, even extreme violence, in the name of patriotism, but it's a completely twisted version. Former FBI official Javed Ali says militias, neo-Nazis, and QAnon supporters all stormed the Capitol. Among the groups involved, the Oath Keepers and Three Percenters, two far-right extremist organizations with ties to the Carolinas. Accelerationist belief that um, there is this coming confrontation with the government and that uh, you need, folks need to be heavily armed. Last year, armed protesters in Raleigh demonstrated against the stay-at-home order, some wearing Hawaiian shirts, a symbol of the far-right anti-government group known as the Boogaloo Boys. They are looking to incite violence. They're looking to incite people uh, to, to spread the violence that they wish to exist. Bryce Webster Jacobson tracks online threats. He says with Parler being deplatformed and Facebook cracking down, extremist views aren't going away, but rather moving to more secure channels like Signal and Telegram which have seen a surge in downloads. This, as the Southern Poverty Law Center identified nearly 50 hate groups active in the Carolinas, a growing concern for law enforcement. We're just going to have to watch how this unfolds and figure out a way to combat it. The SPLC found 32 hate groups in North Carolina and 17 in South Carolina. The FBI says it can initiate investigations based on First Amendment activity unless there's a threat of violence or criminal behavior. Live in the newsroom, Matt Grant, Fox 46.